My name is T. I work for, as a software engineer for uh, Woven by Toyota. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the current state of compilation database in Bazel. So what is the compilation database? Uh, this is from the uh, uh, LLVM doc documentation website, but basically uh, it is a JSON file that contains a list of all the uh, compilation invocation uh, of your projects. Uh, why do you need a compilation database? Uh, this is usually used to have code analysis tool and ID to process source files by replicating, replicating the exact uh, compilation environment of your project. Here's an, an example. So each uh, object has a directory field uh, and either uh, an argument or a command field, uh, a file field, and maybe an optional uh, uh, output field. How can you generate a compilation database? Uh, compilation database has built-in support in many build systems. For example, with CMake, uh, you can just uh, enable the CMake export compile command options, and CMake will uh, and run a build, and CMake will generate it for you. Uh, CMake doesn't need to do a full build uh, in order to generate this. But with Bazel, there's no built-in support from the build system itself. There are a lot of open source solutions trying to solve this today, and you will need to find one that works for you. You may even have to end up with in-house solutions. So basically this. <laughs> um, even though there are a lot of projects that can help you with generating a compilation database uh, with Bazel, in general, uh, they would fall into one of the following approaches. Intercepting builds, uh, using extra action, using action grab query, or aspects. So let's take a look at each of those. First one, intercepting builds. As you can probably guess, a different test of this approach is that you need to do a real build, a full build, uh, so that the tool can intercept the compile commands. Um, this, however, may not work with daemon Bay build system, which Bazel is. Um, Bazel is the client server model build system. When you run Bazel, um, you're running the Bazel client, but the actual execution, the compilation, is done by the server process. An, an example of uh, this a tool that uh, uses a process is Bear. Uh, even though Bear says that it doesn't support Bazel, um, but Bazel has a batch mode that you can use instead of the client server mode. Uh, so with this, you can use Bear to generate a combination database for Bazel project. As a side note, you may need to disable sandbox for it to work. The second approach is uh, using extra actions. So the idea is that you insert an extra action into the build graph and use that extra action to generate the compile command for each compilation action, and then finally merge them into a compilation database. Here's an example. Let's say you have an ex extractor tool. You need to declare an extra action target that tells Bazel how to generate a compile command, then declare an action listener to insert your extra action into every C CPP compile action in the build graph. And then you can generate a completion database by building your target with the experimental action listener flag. Uh, this is the same as interse intercepting builds. Uh, this also requires you to do a full build. Uh, extra action uh, has been deprecated in favor of aspect for a while ago, but as far as I know, it's still functional today as of the latest version of Bazel. Um, you can take a look at the, the Kai project to see an, an example of how they generate compilation database using extra actions. The third approach is uh, using action graph query or a query for short. Um, this seems to be the most urgent approach uh, today 
even though action query result depends on the warm uh, analysis case, if you can make sure that Bazel is run from a clean state, you can get a pretty accurate uh, compilation database. Using action query has the main advantage of not having to wait for a full build. However, if for some reason uh, your view need to rely on tree artifact, uh, then this may not be the right approach for you. Uh, tree artifact content cannot be known at the analysis phase, and action graph query only op operate based on the analysis phase results. Um, if your view don't have tree artifact, then you can this may be the best way to generate a completion database. Um, in, the, in one of the um, solutions in the Bazel compile command extractor repository from Hetron Vision, there's an excellent article on the pros and cons of using Akron graph query. You can take a look at the link at the bottom. And the final approach is using Bazel aspect. Um, Using aspect also does not require a full build, um, but the generated commands in the database may not be exactly the same as the actual commands. Um, and it, with this, it's possible to write an aspect to support uh, extracting command from action involved with three artifacts. On why I say uh, the generated command with aspect may not be accurate. Uh, this code snippet was taken from the Grail Bio Bazel comp Compilation Database project. is an example of how some projects are extracting compile commands using aspect. So basically, you iterate on what's available in the compilation context and reconstruct the compile commands. But if you're using a custom chunchen, the order of the format or the format of the flag can be different if that's important to you. Uh, so aspects was what we went with because we wanted the to generate compilation, compilation database to be as accurate as possible, uh, and we need to support tree artifacts. For non-tree artifact actions, instead of reconstructing compile commands from the compilation context, uh, we reuse the arc object that you can get from the CPP compile action itself. This object will be expanded at the execution phase, contain accurate, accurate argument information uh, that can help you get the exact compile commands uh, from the action. What about tree artifacts? Let's take a look at this example. Uh, we have a gen tree target that generates a tree artifact, then we will feed that into a CC library. If you try to run a Bazel, Bazel AQ on this CC library to find all the CPP compile actions, you will get nothing. So why there is no CPP compile action produced by this CC library? It's because at the analysis phase, Bazel cannot know about the tree artifact content in order to create any CPP compile actions for it. Instead, it creates a CPP compile action template. Then later in the execution phase, it uses that template to create the actual CPP compile actions. What is an action template? Um, this is not documented anywhere in the Bazel documentation, but an action template is a placeholder action that at execution time expands into a list of action to be executed. As far as I know, uh, action templates are only, are only available for C++ view uh, at the moment. So how can you generate compile commands for action generated by an action template? Uh, because you don't have the, uh, uh, the info of the tree artifact content at the analysis phase. You need to defer the generation until the execution phase and use the tool to get the content of the tree artifact. And then you need to reconstruct the components from that. So this is an example of how you, you can do it. Um, so all this is not to say which approach is better than the other, but I think as a community, I think we should 
collaborate to reach a common solution for compilation database in Bayesville. Thank you.